Hibs are without the influence of Michael O'Neill because of suspension, and Kevin Harper remains injured. Mickey Weir comes back. The only change after victory at Motherwell last week. Celtic come here with confidence after the best league form in years. They're without John Hughes and Peter Grant are suspended. In come Malky Mackay and Phil O'Donnell. There's Keith Wright, who got both goals against Motherwell last week. Uh, he's coming back to top form after injury with five goals in the last eight games. And Pierre van Hooydonk, the Dutchman, is now Celtic's top scorer with 11 goals. The referee is Bobby Orr from Kolbarka. So Hibbs kick off up the Easter Road slope. And well won by manager Alec Miller that the first 15 minutes of this game will be vital. He's been drumming it into them all week that uh, they mustn't let Celtic dominate the early stages. Or his team really could face trouble. Those are seven points. Uh, drift of Celtic going into this match, so they know exactly what they have to do. But, uh, Celtic are unbeaten away from home in domestic football this season. And having said that, Hibs have won four of their last five home league matches. So there's a good atmosphere inside the ground and uh, the crowd anticipating a fine match. Straight through towards the Van Hoydonk. And uh, the free kick uh, goes the other way. In fact, uh, for Hooks, Van Hoydonk looks over towards the referee. Slid off by right. Said Kevin McAllister. Well, excitement goes round the ground when he's in possession, but John Collins cuts that one out well. That's perhaps a little ambitious right across the field. Still it's Collins. Back to Van Hoydonk. He's going to try one here. Not quite uh, allowing for the Easter Road slot, I fear. And that one uh, high into the stand. But he certainly had the confidence to have a crack. There was plenty of power in it, but all was well over the top. as well Simon Donnelly plays it through now it was uh, well cut out by Chris Jackson and it's John Collins for Celtic Van Hoydonk Collins again first time and that one scraped the top of the crossbar he just stabbed at that one as he took the return from Van Hoydonk and he almost deceived Jim Layton could have been much closer Celtic looking the likelier side at the moment. McNamara starts a good run here. Simon Donnelly just holds up and waits uh, for that support. And it's McStay. Donnelly. O'Donnell. So it's picked up now. McAllister. This is Weir, surrounded by Celtic players. Collins emerges with it. He's challenged by Pat McGinley. That's Paul McStay. Jackie McNamara, Van Hoydonk, Donnelly, it's a good play by Celtic, McNamara! What a goal by Celtic and Jackie McNamara! 11 minutes gone and McNamara opens his Celtic account with great style, it was great support running by him, superb build up by Celtic, they showed a lot of patience, Simon Donnelly clipped it through and then the first time effort from McNamara over Jim Layton, Hibernian nil, Celtic one, and that's as good a goal as we've seen this season in terms of the build-up and the execution. And Hoydonk to Donnelly, who had initially held things up, waiting for support, and then McNamara. This is Dodds, Luka McAllister. Mara does well defensively out. A misunderstanding there, and Andreas Tom is almost through. A little battle going on for possession here, and uh, Darren Dodge will be in trouble with the referee. He lifted his hand to Phil O'Donnell. Darren Dodge certainly lifted his hand. Andreas Tom is coming through, and Bardsdale. 
by Darren Jackson. And then uh, Dodge got himself involved. There was a lot in it, but uh, he still lifted his hands. He's talking to Darren Jackson. And he's giving him, obviously, for his challenge. It's a red card being shown now to Darren Dodds. With 18 minutes gone, hips are down to 10 men. We really left the referee with little alternative. Players are warned they mustn't lift their hands. Even though the contact uh, wasn't that great, it was certainly a foul by Darren Jackson. You can see the hand being lifted there. The stupidity by the player. And it puts his teammates under incredible pressure under enough as it was. So, Dodds off. Jackson booked. Hits a goal down. It's not looking good for Alec Miller's men. This is uh, just Jackson. McGinley. Well, both McGinley and Milne pushing more and more forward now to lend some support. There's something uh, lacking in his earlier play. This is Weir, looking for Keith Wright. Well, they get no great direction on that, but it is more promising from a hips point of view. The Gordon Marshalls had uh, virtually nothing to do since kick-off. So that's uh, 25 minutes gone, and uh, still Celtic lead by one goal to nil. Situation. It's through now for Tom. That's Collins. Van Hoydonk. Andreas Tom, good skills there, getting away from Milne. The chance is on here, and it's Phil O'Donnell. It's another terrific goal by Celtic. Andreas Tom showed marvellous skills there on the left hand side, getting away from Andy Milne. Sent in the early cross. And there was Phil O'Donnell to finish it all off. Good skills by Andreas Tom with uh, 25 minutes gone. And O'Donnell with a deadly finish. Bernie nil, Celtic 2. Let's look at the way Andreas Tom stepped away from the hips player. And then with the outside of the right foot, right across goal. And uh, what a comeback for Phil O'Donnell. After his injury problems. Josh McKinley makes the run. It's big stay. And McNamara finds a lot of space on the far side. Back to mixed day. Goes off Van Hoydon. Goes running for the goal kick. Celtic players are uh, sharing a joke. <laughs> Darren Jackson again. He's finding it so difficult to put any pressure. That was even the case before they lost uh, Darren Dodd. themselves a free kick. And Stephen Tweet has moved uh, to the edge of the area. So Van Hoydonk, uh, who made the initial clearance, and then Boyd. Still hips have it though. Stay who clears again. It's uh, Darren Jackson pushing forward. This is Chris Jackson. So we're getting a lot of players behind the ball, making it almost impossible for Hibbs. 
Ricky Flight. Keep his stay well forward. Well, they've got to try and get something back before the interval. It's McStay who's there. And there's Tom challenges. Darren Jackson has it though. Now the break's on. Very much on for Celtic. Five players breaking forward. Simon Donnelly. Still it's Donnelly. And Leighton does well. Well, Celtic at five, breaking against three. And Simon Donnelly almost found a way through. Jim Leighton made the save. thing to do. Fans aren't happy with it, but uh, the referee is uh, trying to let things flow as much as possible. Here's another break on now. It's Phil O'Donnell right through in goal, and uh, Jim Leighton did enough there. But, uh, Leighton was unhappy with the referee. Phil O'Donnell running right through. Hips players here uh, for a flag. Leighton came just outside the area. Uh, forced O'Donnell to hit his effort wide. So O'Donnell making that run through. Down the flames. He was offside. Milton was not happy. Final seconds of the first half. He checked his watch. There's a minute of stoppage time played. So got by Van Boydell. The halftime whistle sounds, a convincing first half by Celtic. And there's the man who made the breakthrough after 11 minutes. It was great build-up play by Celtic, the layoff by Van Hoydon. Put forward by Don Light and McNamara with a superb execution. And then after 18 minutes, Darren Dodds was uh, sent off the field. And after 25 minutes, McDonnell scored a superb second for Celtic. Brilliantly set up by Andrea Storm. Stepped away from Andy Milne, provided the cross, and O'Donnell was there to finish off. The half-time score here at Easter Road, Hibernian nil, Celtic 2. So Celtic start the second half. Uh, have been pushed into change and brought on Joe Tortellano for Mickey Weir. Changes in the Celtic lineup. There's Paul McStay. Uh, he's been struggling a bit uh, with a heavy cold this week. And uh, Tommy Burns was a bit concerned that uh, we might have to leave him out today. But, um, he certainly enjoyed a good first half. Well, Jim Leighton uh, was yellow carded uh, as he left the field at half time. There was a lot of booing going on, and uh, he'd reacted angrily. And the referee showed him the yellow card, so we'll have to be extremely cautious now. So Hibs have themselves a free kick. Didn't like Kevin McAllister. Stephen Tweed has moved forward. Gordon Hunter's up there as well now. Celtic comfortably get it away. It's picked up by Chris Jackson. And that was uh, carefully watched all the way by Gordon Marshall. So Chris Jackson is uh, fouled. Colin's a culprit. Let's have the free kick and perhaps a chance to give themselves some glimmer of hope here. Still to take it. And first forward, so to his tweed. That's a fine effort going in from Heath Wright, just over the top. Looks had plenty of uh, height forward for this. It was uh, Tom Boyd who got it away. And uh, Heath Wright sent in a good effort. And that's 
Collins. Looking for Tom. The stretch for that one did well. Nice little flick now to Josh McKinley. Again, it's Tom. That's the next day. And that takes a deflection and goes for the corner. He's had a few pots of goal this afternoon, Paul McStay. It's always good to see from him. He certainly doesn't score enough goals. So he's had a few cracks this afternoon. It's Josh McKinley. That one breaks away to Van Hoydonk. He lays it off. It's McNamara. It's behind for the corner again. Pressure stays on. The effort from Jackie McNamara, who scored in the first half. He was uh, set up by this man, Simon Donnelly. Just recently turned uh, 21 years of age. And Leighton again comes to the rescue. Still the ball's in play. O'Donnell leaves it. Now it's Collins. It's Andreas Tom. Tom winds up for the shot and a complete miscue by him. In fact, uh, he's gone out for a throw in on the far side, but Jim Leighton there did well to rescue Hibbs. Donnelly played it into the near post and it was Malky Mackay with the head up and McAllister and Leighton. And uh, tweets well forward, it's right, trying to find Jackson. The goalkeeper's lost it, the chance is definitely on here. It drops over the bar from Gordon Hunter. That was a real opportunity. Darren Jackson is causing all kinds of uh, problems. He's right, sent it through. Darren Jackson turned, Marshall couldn't quite get it away. It came off Tweed, Hunter had the free header and sent it over the top. the one that might just have brought Hibs back into this game. The chances have been few and far between. And the bricks on for Celtic. It's Collins. Tom's ahead of him. Van Hoydonk's here as well. Donnelly's arriving. It's through for Andreas Tom. The gap opens up. And that's a marvellous save by Jim Leighton. Well, Andreas Tom saw the opportunity of the shot as the ball was put through by Collins. The gap opened up. First time effort, a great save by the Scotland goalkeeper. Josh McKinley delivers a ball and Van Hoydonk sends it just over. Well, Van Hoydonk looking for goal number 12 of the season. Climbing well. Mark Miller makes such high hopes for this game this afternoon. Must be extremely disappointed. His team have never really got going. So here they come now. Chris Jackson plays it through. There's plays for handball. The answer's the referee. McAllister's there. And the free kick is awarded right on the edge of the area. So, he has a work with uh, Paul McStay. And uh, Celtic have a bit of defending to do now. And Marshall steadies himself. It's Tortolano. And it comes off Simon Donnelly. Tom again shows a uh, great pace here. But uh, Chris Jackson remain calm. One ball through now for Keith Wright to chase. Uh, Mackay is with him. And that's a free kick against the Hibs player. The whistle hit gone. And he's uh, perhaps unfortunate. Uh, yellow carpet uh, for going on and uh, rushing the ball into the net
John Collins is calling for the ball on the far side. Is it true now for O'Donnell? And good movement off the ball by Celtic. In comes across, it's Van Hoydong! And that's another superb goal! The Bernier nil, Celtic 3. That all began with a long ball out of defence from Tom Boyd. John Collins had shouted for it. He threaded it through then to Phil O'Donnell. And he provided the cross for Pierre Van Hoydong to get his 12th goal of the season. Leighton got his hand to it. But there's nothing he could do about it. So 77 minutes gone. Hips nil, Celtic 3. Celtic fans celebrate. The team are on a superb run as they head into the Christmas and New Year period. Here's McKinley. Through for Van Hoydonk, who's on side. Well, his touch uh, let him down, and that uh, allowed Leighton to pounce. What a chance it was. Went through by Tosh McKinley. It's a Fleming offside. And uh, they get in there. So for the first time in uh, years, Celtic fans appreciate that the team are uh, staying close to Rangers. But here's a chance now for Hibbs. Good play by McAllister. The Celtic uh, managed to get it off the line. Rocky Mackay there. Taking a knock in the proceedings. McNamara was there also, but it was Mackay who was positive enough. And Celtic continue to knock the ball about uh, as effectively as they've done all afternoon. They really have given uh, Hibs a run around, but uh, there's some activity over at the Celtic bench now. Martin Dickhorst, the new signing. It's coming on with some eight minutes to go. And, uh, Phil O'Donnell, who made a great comeback and uh, scored a goal, he leaves the field. So on comes perhaps a new Celtic hero, Martin Vickhorst. Signed yesterday for just over half a million pounds from Dundee. This is McAllister, who's worked extremely hard for Hibs this afternoon. With no real reward. And another good run here, getting in the cross. And it's uh, Malcolm Mackay who clears. Again, uh, Tweet has uh, moved forward. It's McGinley who goes in to attack that one. Breaks away to Tortellano. And he almost runs into trouble. It's uh, Vickhorst who plays it through. And it's three against one here. He certainly did run into trouble. It's through now for Simon Donnelly. Steadies himself. And it's number four. a self-inflicted wound all given away and Hoydonk sent it through Donnelly steadied himself and uh, drilled it past Leighton it's nil Celtic 4 Keith Wright uh, getting the touch, and uh, that's taken by Marshall and uh, Tom Boyd. Went down heavily there, and uh, Marshall is calling for attention for the defender. Well, you can see his knee caught him on the side of the face. He's back on his feet. And okay. Now, uh, there's uh, pressure on Stephen Tweed. He's really struggling with injury, but uh, the offside flag goes up. Well, the referee ends Hibbs misery. A superb result for Celtic. Great goals scored by them in the first coming after just 11 minutes. McNamara finishing with a great style. And O'Donnell doing likewise after 25 minutes when Tom provided the cross. 
second half, things calmed a bit, but then uh, Celtic picked up the pace again, and Van Hoydonk uh, scored number three, Boyd started the move away from the back, through to Collins, he set it up for O'Donnell, good running by him, and he delivered the cross for Van Hoydonk, and then in the closing stages, Van Hoydonk became goalmaker, teeing it up for Simon Donnelly. The final score here at Easter Road, Hibernian nil, Celtic 4.